I have a new shell challenge going on and I'm so sorry in advance. This is hashtag Sarah Snowflake shell on the gallery. Obviously it is a snowflake. If you don't know what a shell challenge is, it's where I build the walls to a house and you make the house or it can be a community lot or whatever. But this is a shell challenge with a twist because as you can see, there are all these pre-made rooms and you actually, if you want, you can take them apart and rearrange them to make whatever, you know, kind of thing that you want. So obviously I have a speed build for you today of what I did with this shell. So let's get into that. So as you can see with the speed build, we're actually starting in the kitchen. I don't have the footage of me rearranging all of the rooms into what I created it to be. And that's just because it took me so long and I was doing it off of stream just to make sure that this shell was possible before I said, hey, this is the shell challenge. So what we've done, let me catch you up a little bit. I've done a bit of rearranging and we have a beach house, like a beach house Airbnb is kind of the vibe I was going for here. So we are currently in the kitchen. And I apologize because this will be kind of a choppy speed build just because I did stream all of this and I am the world's slowest builder. <laughs> but that's okay. We're here to have fun and we're going to have fun. And yeah, so I've had the idea to do this shell in my head for a few months now. I know some of you probably remember when I did the snowflake house museum. It actually was a museum. It wasn't a house, but I built this giant snowflake and made it a museum back in, I think, October actually of 2020, right when Snowy Escape was announced. And I thought it was a really fun concept and like a really fun shape. So I was like, should that be the shell challenge? I don't know if that should be the shell challenge. Maybe it should. That was me trying to be the TikTok sound. Anyway, I used the main like square, the main middle of the shell to be the like kitchen. I figured it was probably the best since it wasn't, you know, diagonals and it was the biggest so we could do. I honestly intended to do a dining area in there with it, I think, but then I kind of adapted it, whatever. And this shell will be due on the 19th. So it is actually this Sunday right after I'm posting this. So that is why I did do a community post to make sure that the people on YouTube were aware of the shell challenge. Um, The shell, I mean, it has like 400 downloads, I think. So I know people are aware and that there will be enough people there for tours. Now, if there is demand, like if you miss out on this shell challenge, like I consider maybe, I'm thinking maybe we can do another day of tours, but that's only if there's enough demand for it. So let me know if you miss tours this week or aren't able to do it this weekend or anything like that. And I will try and maybe fit in another day of tours because the shell, everyone's efforts deserve to be recognized with this shell. I don't understand why I did this. But what's different about this shell than most of my other shells is that I am allowing you to turn the walls into half walls or fences or spandrels or anything like that. Just because I feel like it would not be possible to have like cohesive spaces, a cohesive flow of space if you want any sort of open area, if you could not change the walls into spandrels. And I took advantage of that. And I think in my future shell challenges, I probably will allow turning walls into spandrels and stuff just because I realize you can still kind of see the shape of it, right? Like I put like, I think three of those little diagonal weird rooms together and then turn some of the walls into spandrels. And you can still obviously tell that the shape of the room was the, those weird diagonal rooms. But anyway, the first day of building this on stream was just absolutely chaotic because everyone was, oh, everyone kept asking. I literally went in and like cut out a bunch of the times that I opened up the gallery because so many people were like, what is this shell? Like, what is it? And I was like, okay, here's what it is. It's on the gallery. <laughs> you can grab it. It starts as a snowflake. You can rearrange it into something else if you want. And then I decided to sort of be a little more lenient with the rules in that if you were to keep the snowflake shape of the exterior, if you weren't to move the exterior walls from the snowflake, you could delete the interior walls. But I know that gets so confusing. And then I was like, why did I even say that? That just made it a hundred gajillion times more confusing. But we live and we learn, honestly. And I, in my head, I always feel like I have so many rules in my head that other people just like don't have. And I'm just like, no, I need to set the rules exactly how they should be. And then like, there should be no breaking of the rules. But actually, like, it doesn't even matter. If you look at it from the outside, like we're all just having fun. Like we're all just trying to like build something fun in The Sims. And like, if you break a rule here and there, like that's fine. Like, why does it matter? But like in my brain, my brain's like, it matters because these arbitrary rules are so important. And I'm just like, can, can you chill for a second? Maybe? Anyway, this is yet another build with the Loth cat carving from the Journey to Batu pack. I genuinely think that is my new favorite item in this game. It is so cute. I love that little guy. I don't know what to say. I love that little guy. And then also the Porg carving. I could cry. I literally could cry because of how much I love those two items. And you might've seen me tweet. I'm trying to grow my Twitter a little bit. I'm trying to tweet more. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. Um, But anyway, <laughs> I tweeted that I think I'm becoming a Journey to Batu stan. And you know 
what? It got a few favorites. The people were like, yeah, okay. And then one of my besties, she was like, oh my God, no, don't make me want to buy this pack. But listen, what can I say? What can I say? I love the Loth cat carving. I love the Porg carving. I love the random stone. I love the cube. We use the cube at the end, but I'm just having a lot of fun with bid two and the floors and the floors. And now I know liking a few items is not a reason to be a stan of a whole pack, but I do think the gameplay is pretty fun if you enjoy, you know, that Star Wars stuff. The create a sim, I will say, is very much only for the Batu gameplay. But anyway, I lost direction in this build quite a few times. Like, I made the kitchen. It's not very cluttered because I was like, this is an Airbnb. Why would it be so cluttered? Like, obviously, there's a coffee bar and there's like a few things on the counter here and there. Why would it be so cluttered? And then I got to the office and I was like, we're making this super cute. Like, there's gonna be books. There's gonna be, I think I had, is it the cross stitching basket? Maybe, do I add that here? I've been getting so confused with all of my builds recently. It's kind of embarrassing. But then I put that like parenthood thing, organizer thing. I don't even know what you call that, to be honest. But I put that on the wall and I'm like, why would that be in an Airbnb? So the main point is that I had fun with this build and I hope you did too. But I think soon we're gonna start working. There is a butler's quarters that I made because the people were saying like, oh, like this separate little area could be a butler's quarters because on the second level of the house, there are like three of, or three or four of like the square or rectangular rooms. And then the rest of the little weird diagonal rooms on a separate side. So I made a separate entrance and I said this could be for the butler, but also it could just be, you know, another another like unit, another rental unit for this Airbnb area. So I don't know. It's up for interpretation. And you know, in my speed builds, we always do a little chat about what's up with my TikTok comments recently. I have had so much going on my TikTok comments recently. So buckle up. The first TikTok drama that we should discuss is when I posted the TikTok about this shell challenge because I was like, oh, it's a puzzle piece shell. You can move everything around however you want. Just don't change the walls, except, you know, if you want them to be half walls, spandrels, whatever. And someone had the nerve to say, so it's not a shell challenge then. And I'm like, what? Puzzle piece shells are very much a thing. That's what I said. They were like, shell implies the shell stays the same. Puzzle piece is very different. I did ratio them hard, so I'm not that mad about this one. But I was like, isn't the shell the walls? The walls stay the same. Do the math. What else? Oh, I, I built a kid's room. I built a, a, you know, a cute little kid's room on my, on my TikTok for my random budget build. And I put a pride flag in it because our kid's not allowed to be proud of who they are, right? The 13 year old edgy middle schoolers found that one, besties. They were like, flag is an L. L flag would be good without the flag. Flag ruins it. And I'm just like, are you sure? Are you sure? But I do need to spend less time on TikTok. I need to stop replying to my comments. At least the bad ones. I like responding to the good ones. <laughs> Someone was like, that's a pride flag in a kid's room. You make me sick. And I was like, good. And then I commented a bunch of pride flag emojis. I need to be stopped, everybody. But anyway, the maximum clownery was out in that comment section. I don't know how it got on that side of TikTok. It's probably, like, logically, it's probably because a few people engaged with it in that way. I probably engaged with them back, which TikTok saw is just engagement on the video. And so boosted it to that demographic more. In my head, that's how that happened. I still think the worst thing was Stairgate. I still think I will not live Stairgate down. I think in one of my other shell speed builds is when I talk about Stairgate as well. If you don't know, I tried to build this like cursed staircase that I saw on Instagram and I did it the best I could in The Sims, but it wasn't exactly perfect. And the people were screaming, shaking, crying. And I was just like, I'm literally right and you're literally wrong. Now, does it turn out there was a way to do it more correctly, but also less correctly because it looked worse in The Sims and wasn't perfect exactly the same way in real life? I don't know if that sentence made any sense, but yes, there was a way to do it. I don't even want to say better, but there was a different way to do it that probably would have appeased the masses more. But like, I intrinsically know the limitations of The Sims, so I like didn't even consider that I could have been wrong. Wow, fame has really gone to my head. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean? Like, I think because I play so much Sims and I know exactly what works and exactly what doesn't, it didn't occur to me that people could see that it was wrong because they don't know the limitations of the game. I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting too into this right now. Let's talk about the dining room. At least that's what I'm watching right now. Now, I use those snowy escape table and chairs and I never use those. I don't know if I ever have used those, but I said, this is really cute and I love these chairs and they're really fun and I'm going to keep using them and I'm going to use them a lot. And in one of, in the downstairs bedroom, I put two beds. I put two, you know, like a loft bed and then a bed underneath. And then I logged back on to finish this build and the beds simply disappeared. They simply said, I have to go. I'm leaving. Have a nice life. Oh, and I just watched myself try and add some curtains in this, in this build. People on TikTok always love to complain that I don't, they don't really complain. Honestly, 
there aren't really curtain complainers, but there are curtain commenters. And they're like, why do you never use curtains? Why do you know, why does no room have curtains? And I'm just like, I literally just do not like most of the curtains in the game. Actually, I think I've said this in quite a few of my recent videos because I've got I've gotten more comments recently about it. I've been trying to use more of them. I really like the movie hangout ones, but it's like either all of my builds will like have the exact same curtains because they're the only three that I like in the game. Um, or they just some of them won't have curtains, some of them will if I feel that they fit. Oh, and we also used a ton of gallery art for this because I don't know, I just like the uniqueness of it. I've been using way more gallery art recently. Um because I have been really sick of all of the paintings and pictures in the game. Um, you can only use those tiny living plant pictures so many times and then it's like you have 50 in your house and why do you have so many? And then it's like maybe they were on sale and like this person bought a bunch of them on sale or they just really like plants and it just becomes a whole mess, basically. But it was really fun to stream this. Um, like I said, it was really chaotic because I was trying to explain the shell so many times. Also, it feels like a theme because I think I said this in the last shell speed build, but Lil Simsy raided. <laughs> and so we had like thousands of people in chat and I was just like trying to talk to them all. And then it was like, I am just such a slow builder. Taking me back to TikTok again. Someone the other day, I've been doing more TikTok lives. I've been having a lot of fun with TikTok live. The chat is a little bit more toxic than any other streams, but that's okay. But I was just having a good chat with, with TikTok live chat and someone was like, does it always take you this long to make a decision on what to put in your build? And I was just like, the way I responded, I literally, like I didn't even let it phase me at first until I thought about it for a couple seconds after. But like, I literally was like, yes, it does always take me this long. Cause like, I didn't know if it was rude. And then I was like, no, I do think they were trying to be rude. And I was like, yeah, it does take me this long because I like to talk to chat and people always compliment and like comment on how nice it is that I try so hard to interact with chat and ev answer every question that I can. It, like, I really value the people that watch my streams and that like hang out and are part of my community. I'm like, why would I ignore them? Like if I, if it takes me a little longer to finish a build, that's fine. Except when it's not because when I go and try and edit it into a speed build, it's just an absolute mess. But that's a story for another day. But yeah, and then the audition audacity of some people in my live today. I was live for like a few, just a few hours before I started filming this. Someone was like, oh, someone keep track of how many times she says, um, and I literally was just like, what? what? Honestly, anytime someone says that in a live chat, like they get roasted. And I think it's so funny. Like if the, if the, you know, broadcaster comments on it, like the person will get roasted. I was like, maybe that's because I have like hundreds of chat messages a minute and I'm trying to respond to all the questions and my brain maybe needs time to take a break and think for a second before I say the next thing. Um, and I'm also trying to do a Sims build at the same time. Like it's all always the people who have no idea or who have never tried to make online live content, especially in their lives. They're always like, why do you say um so much? I've gotten that comment a couple times. It really annoys me because I just think it's literally so rude to make fun of some the way someone speaks in any way. Like making fun of someone's, you know, saying um too much, making fun of someone's pronunciation, making fun of their accent, making fun of their grammar, anything like that I think is so rude because you don't know like their background. Like I heard someone say one time, a lot of times people mispronounce things. It's because they've only ever read the word they've never heard it said out loud and like that's been my case for a lot of things oh my god like the one time I tried to say the harbing I said harbinger counter in the sims and someone's like um it's actually harbinger and I was like okay okay cool I've never heard it said out loud great fun anyway that really annoys me when people comment on how much I say um and I do try and cut them out of my youtube videos because it's the only place I can cut out my ums but I also find that saying um is a nice like reset of my vocal placement you know and maybe that's just because I'm in the habit of it. Like I say, um, usually to like finish my sentence and then I can start saying things again. I also think, I talk about this more on Twitch. I also think it could have been born from when I started streaming and you know, I didn't have a lot of people watching and I wanted to make sure that the people that were watching kept watching. So I would always say, um, to make it sound like I was gonna say something later. So that if I needed a couple seconds to like think or just like breathe or like take a sip, they wouldn't leave. And I know that's like a little bit, wow, that's a lot, but that's just kind of how it was. I don't know. I actually decided to do a downstairs bathroom. I was like, wait a minute. We do have a bedroom downstairs. We don't have a bathroom downstairs. We need to be doing a downstairs bathroom. So I did a little bit of that there. I put a curtain. I put a curtain there. Mm-hmm. I did. I did. But yeah. I mean, I also, oh, I also just wanted to say thanks for like the love on the recent videos. Like they've been doing pretty well. And I'm just so happy people are enjoying them because I genuinely have so much fun with those build challenges. And I know the titles of the videos are a bit dramatic. Like, what is this challenge? This is the most confusing Sims challenge. But honestly, that's kind of how I feel though. Like every room is a different room. Someone, the first time someone said that to me, I had to take like a five minute break. I was like, 
every every room is it but every room already is a different room but no that challenge was so much fun and i have a lot of fun video ideas that i'm so excited for for to finish up this year and then to start next year off as well i heard of a twist on the every room is a different budget challenge where you like roll a budget for the entire house and then roll a budget for each room so like say you roll 75,000 for the whole house and you roll like 20,000 for the entryway. Then you only have 55,000 for the rest of the house and maybe you roll 7,000 for the bathroom. Then you have what, 38,000 for the rest of the house? Like something like that. That sounded really cool. That might be the most confusing Sims build challenge. No, that one will probably be titled like, I'm bad at math, but I tried this really hard Sims build challenge. <laughs> I also am so sorry that I always look so overly shocked in my thumbnails. Like what? What is this challenge? Oh my God. But listen, can you blame me? It's what gets the clicks. I'm just gonna be upfront. That's what gets the clicks, you know? But I've been pretty good the last like two and a half weeks trying to get consistent videos out, like at least one every couple days. And so I'm really looking forward to like kind of getting my life together in 2022 and like maybe hopefully like consistent two videos out a week, maybe a video every other day, maybe even three videos out a week. Like there's a lot that could happen. There's a lot that could happen. I have big things in my head for 2020. 2022. That's all I'm saying. Also, one of my goals for 2022 is to have merch. So if you have any merch ideas, obviously a lot of my merch ideas come from my Twitch community, but if you have any merch ideas, like let me know. Like one thing I was thinking, cause you know how I end all of my videos. Actually, a lot of people click off as soon as I stop building, but that's none of my business. Anyway, I always end my videos by being like, oh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. And I think it'd be cute to have like the front of the shirt say, have a wonderful rest of your day and the back say, and a lovely tomorrow. I thought that would be super, super cute. And maybe that's just me. But if you have any merch ideas, let me know. Also, join our Discord. Let me know in suggestions for Sarah. If you have any, honestly, merch ideas, video ideas, I love video ideas. And I truly think some of the comments are where the best video ideas are. Like, that's where I heard of every room is a different room. Like, I would not have, I would never have come up with that by myself. But yeah, can anyone believe that it is actually almost 2022 though? Like, that's so scary. My brain does not comprehend the passage of time. Like, every time I think about time passing, I, I lose it. I lose it. I don't know how to comprehend it. Because what 2022 marks for me, the beginning of 2022 is four years since I studied abroad, which as we know was one of the best experiences of my life. I'm very privileged and very, you know, grateful that I was able to experience that. But like the idea that four years have passed since I have like been to what have now been some of my favorite places in the world. That's crazy. Also two years on the panini is coming up and I don't know how to react to that one either. But like, honestly, there are good things that have come out of the last two years as well. Like I took, I started taking content creation really seriously. And like, especially in the last couple months, we've been kind of popping off and I've been having so much fun. But one of my goals, I don't want to say one of my goals for 2022, because like a year is kind of a short time to make it happen, especially if I do intend to like do it solely by making content creation my job, or if I want to get an external job, maybe it could happen a little faster, but I really want to move to New York. I know everyone's moving to New York, but that is the reason that I want to move to New York is because literally all of my friends have left and moved to New York. I literally have like two friends left in my city and I just, I need to be more where my friends are. It's not even that I need to be in New York. I just need to be where my friends are. But yeah, honestly, I don't know if that actually would happen anytime soon in 2022. Also wrapping my brain around the idea that I could stay living with my parents and save so much money is really, really enticing. But is it more enticing than living in the big city with my besties? Sorry, why did I say it like that? Anyway, here we are now in the build. I think we've started working on like the butler's quarters area. I don't know why I say quarters like that. But yeah, like I said, it doesn't have to be a butler's quarters. Like if you have like, if you have like fan, like friends and like family friends that are like going on vacation or something like for your Sims, like this could be a good spot for them too, because there is like a separate kitchen area, a separate bedroom, a separate bathroom and everything like that. You could totally do that as well. I feel like that would be a really good use of this space. And I think one of my favorite things about this build was that I was able to have stairs and also ladders. Cause there are some shells where you're like, this is a ladder shell. I'm not trying it with the stairs. I refuse, but we actually did stairs. Now this is one of the, one of the shells. I actually don't know if I've ever done this with a shell before. Oh no, no, no. I didn't roof the spooky shell challenge shell. I don't think this is one of the shells that I have not roofed. I usually, I always say that I like to roof all of my shells to show you that the roofing can be done. It can happen. Now I actually recommend going and watching Sid Mac. I will link her channel down below. She's one of my YouTube streamer friends, you know, but she has been doing these these 
absolutely wild shell challenges recently. And she roofs all of them beautifully. So if you do need like inspo or like tips or just like want to watch how someone can roof such a complicated shell, I 100% recommend checking out her videos. And she uses a lot of like um where you place place like the tiles on top of like the weird pokey outy parts and then just bring it over and then you can put like a totally flat roof piece on there. That's a really good move. Honestly, recently I've just been like putting roofs over some of the gaps uh in the floor plan and just pretending it doesn't exist because I'm like who who's to say that that exists you know right man we have not had a good sit down in a chat for a while anyone have a fun bev today I'm always asking my twitch chat if you have a fun bev and mine today is just water arguably the funnest of bevs but also arguably the least fun bev and by bev I do mean beverage if that wasn't clear but I love to have an iced spiced chai I love to have I bought this oat milk creamer that is like coffee cake flavored I quite like it I think it's pretty good it's very sweet like you do not need to add any like extra sugar or anything like that to have it be sweet but I've been really enjoying that I think it's by Planet Oat so go off besties though we do know I am a main Chobani Oat is my main girl like I love her she's never done me wrong but I love a fun Bev I really want an espresso machine I would love to make my own espresso drinks I have a little like milk frother like the thing that you press the button and it like twirls it around like I love that I love that for mixing it's so fun but I truly would love my own espresso machine and I bought a mocha pot an m-o-k-a mocha pot I'm too scared to use it anyway this is the bedroom and the butler's quarters or at least that's what I'm watching right now I'm gonna I'm gonna really have to do some, some chopping around of the footage here and the bathroom is literally a triangle but it works I play tested all of this it's all fully functional and it is so iconic so yee yee right honestly if you've made it this far in the video I haven't done this in a while a few times I've given like a word to comment like if you've made it this far in the video because I like when I love when people watch the end it warms my heart but if you've made it this far already comment what's on this note card one three zero nine eight zero so that's not a word that's a number what is that from oh no 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 no, no. you know what you should comment on the back of this it says Pokemon go to the polls so feel free to comment Pokemon go to the polls <laughs> if you've made it this far now let me tell you the number the one three zero nine eight zero that was from from when I was doing Nook Mile speed runs and I needed to write down how much we started with. And Pokemon Go to the Polls was because I wanted to add the Pokemon Go to the Polls sound to my Twitch streams for when we do Chat Decides My Builds. And I, and I decided we might do Chat Decides My Build like at the end of this month or at the start of the next year. Like I wanna do another Chat Decides My Build because they always end up so chaotic and it's just so much fun. And I love, sometimes you just see me randomly size up an item massively. It's because someone in chat was like, how do you size up items? There's the one singular question I get in my TikTok lives if I size something up. The entire chat goes, how do you do that? How do you do that? How do you size something up? How do you size something down? What do you do to change the size of it? No, the best though is game name. App name? Game name? App name? No, my favorite was actually yesterday on my video where I said, oh, The Sims just added holiday content to your game. And then in like the little text on the video, it says new holiday content for The Sims 4. I still got one of the questions, what game is this? And in the tags, it's all Sims, Sims 4. And I'm like, I'm happy to share. I'm happy to share the knowledge. I, my brain just cannot process the video literally saying new content for the Sims 4. Me saying there is new Sims 4 content in the video. All of the tags saying Sims, Sims 4, Sims 4 news. And then someone is still like, what app is that? First of all, it's not an app. But you know what? I'm trying to ward off the negative energy. I think maybe, maybe that would be a really good 2022 resolution is like not to accept accept the negative energy that some of my TikTok comments bring me or cause me or, you know, put upon me. Because I can't say that I will never respond to a mean comment again. You know, I can't make that my resolution. I think, you know, you deserve to defend yourself if the people are coming for you. How did we get on this? I'm literally talking about a Sims build. Now I'm like, the negative energy that is brought to me, I will not accept it. <sighs> But you know, I think I really want to work on myself in 2022 and like I want to work on controlling. Oh, this sounds so like manifest queen vibes. Like I don't even know how to describe it. But, like I'm like, I really want to work on controlling my energy better because I tend to get so worked up over things like TikTok comments. Like when someone K words me in Fortnite, sometimes I literally want to punch my monitor. Like last night I was thinking, I was like, I really felt like punching my monitor right there. Like fully fist through the screen. That is what I wanted and that's not healthy so I think I need to work on that <laughs> by the way I've been loving the new season of Fortnite I have to say I have been living for it if you like Fortnite let me know join our discord we love talking about Fortnite we have a whole channel to post when you win in Fortnite because it's the best feeling ever you know what 2021 brought me Fortnite how could 2021 have been a bad year then
think about it. Let me think. So I think we are just finishing up the like butler's quarters. I keep calling it the butler's quarters, but you know, you don't have to use it for that. If you don't have, wh what does the butler come in? Does it, no, it doesn't come in look vintage glamour, vintage glamour. I was like, there's no way it comes with luxury party stuff. Vintage glamour. If you don't have that one, obviously it doesn't have to be for a butler, but we were just finishing up that area just a little bit. There I go using that llama again. I cannot not use that llama. If you want to download my build, I recommend buying dream home decorator because I love those boxes. I love the llama. I love so much from dream home decorator. I I recommend buying that pack if you want to download my build. I honestly just recommend buying that pack. It doesn't have to be about me. But then this little back porch area I thought was super cute. I did a ladder down and I was so I was so concerned. I was like, is this gonna work? I don't know if this is gonna work. It did. It did. But anyway, we are just finishing up the last bits of this build. So let's jump into the game and take a look. Oh, whoa, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, besties, here we are. I did some random terrain paint, but it obviously doesn't work because you can't take it all the way off the lot. This is concrete as like it's parking spots if we had cars, you know? But here is the first floor. You got your entryway, you've got your bathroom. It is a little weird that it's right there off the entryway, but that's fine. The office. I honestly think the living room is so gorgeous. And there's my sim. I don't even think I mentioned in the speed build that we have a meditation room, but I thought that would be a nice touch. And then there's this bedroom right here. Here. Here's the massive kitchen and this cute little dining area. I really like the dining area and I love these pictures with it. And there's this hallway area and then this bedroom. I love the orange rug. I don't know what it is. I love it. And there's this bathroom and this bedroom. Did this bedroom make it into the speed build? I actually don't know. But there's like five things in it. So why would it, you know? Then here is the rooftop area. It's honestly super, super nice, I have to say. And then over here is the little entrance to the second unit. And then there's the living area, the kitchen, bedroom and the bathroom there is the back deck and i love it i forgot to put a column right there and that is my flop but here's the look at it like what i did with the shell because i know we didn't really get to fully look at that but all of the diagonal rooms are over here and then all of the square and rectangular rooms are over here and yeah i hope you enjoy if you try this shell challenge good luck i hope you have so much fun with it like i said tours will be the 19th which is this coming sunday so if you miss them let me know because i might want to try and do another day of tours make sure you're following me on twitter of course and make sure you're subscribed if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up i know it was a long one but thank you so much for sticking with me make sure you subscribe to this channel and my stream uploads channel right up here and you can watch another one of my videos right down here other than that i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye